And let's see if I can walk. Yeah, I can. Let's go down. When we are going down, we're going down in East as well. Down, this is the oldest part of the church. On the wall, you can see graffiti of crosses. And we are reaching the Armenian, Armenian part. Armenia is so small, but then why they have so many places uh, here in, uh, in the city and in the church? There, are, there is a uh, Christian quarter and there is an Armenian quarter, which are Christian as well. Mainly because they were here 30 years before Constantine converted the rest. Then as a nation, they converted themselves, I mean, converted into Christianity at 301. Ararat used to be part of Armenia, but now it was occupied by Turkey. You can see it from Armenia, but it's not uh, owned by Armenia. And in that beautiful mosaic, you can see nine cities that have been destroyed by the uh, Turkish, by the Ottomans, um, at 1915, 1915. And what we study from it, nothing. There are so many things that I can talk about St. Ellen Chapel. Because the history of the Armenians is all over here. But we are skipping that place and heading to the oldest part of the church. And that when they found the true cross. So many people ask me, how do you know? Is it true, is it not? Well, we don't know. Uh, but there are traditions, ancient traditions, from beginning of time, the beginning of the church. Uh, and why not to believe that they found their crosses? They actually found three crosses. Remember, Jesus wasn't crucified by himself. Uh, then an old a sick Jewish woman who was taken to here, one cross touched her body, nothing happened. The second one, nothing happened. And the third one, he already knows what's happened. Then you can see St. Helen with a cross. And the place that they found the cross, the exact site is according to tradition right here. But let's talk about what actually happened here. Uh, King Herod used that place as a uh, um, quarry. The stones.